Okay, um, we'll start with what I think is an easy one. Uh, possibly even a one-word answer. Uh, is there any hope that the Republicans will stop posturing and start governing for the greater good? <laughs> right now, my friend Scott Abrams is in synagogue, and I know he's praying for just that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you and uh, Congressman McKee and co-sponsored legislation to stop the uh, Phoenix, Phoenix mine in Santa Clarita. Uh, you've withdrawn that support. I've got a couple of questions on that. Uh, and I believe it has to do with your remarks. Are you planning on sponsoring new legislation? Um, the bill to stop the CMAX operation deals with land that's in Bucks District. It deals with some land in Victorville as an exchange for land in the Santa Clarita Valley. I could try to upstage him and reintroduce his bill under my name, but then it's my bill affecting two parcels in neither one of which is in my district in a house dominated by his people. That would just be showmanship. Um, it, is, uh, it is up to McKeon to convince his caucus that this thing that really isn't an earmark isn't an earmark. Um, or to come up with some tweaks and, uh, uh, that somehow uh, don't, don't count as an earmark under some bizarre Republican rules that I have not been translated into English for me. <laughs> so um, we also have a shot of trying to put this in su a Senate bill that is such a big bill that nobody notices this particular part of it. And I'm working with Boxer to, to try to do that. But I would say that um, if, uh, if Buck McKeon really wanted to protect the Santa Clarita Valley, he wouldn't have helped Republicans get elected to Congress. <laughs> okay. Um, what are the chances of getting legislation for a constitutional amendment uh, passed that would define personhood as the only re uh, referring to human persons? Uh, define... Oh, you mean the... the, the citizens United, the, overturning the, Citizens the, United. And would you support such legislation? Yeah, uh, would, would I support it? Yes. Would we have any chance of passing it? No. Uh, we have... Uh, we're now fighting on the Disclose Act to just try to get disclosure of which corporations. So we know when we're enslaved by corporate corporations and they take over our government, we know which ones. And uh, we, uh, we have not been able to pass that. Uh, the, I will have separate legislation to just prevent foreign corporations from buying our elections. And uh, in the House of Representatives, you cannot force a bill to be considered. Uh, and so I think the most we can do, and it's work for all of us, is to let people know that there's one political party that believes in free speech for humans, and another political uh, party that believes in secret corporate control of our elections, including foreign corporations. If the public doesn't see the difference between those two, um, that's a problem. Okay. Uh, do you have a position on the impeachment of Clarence Thomas for... Uh, Can't we do Alito first? <laughs> I'm sorry? I, 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 I wanted to do Alito first. Okay. Uh, oh, that, that's, the sec that's the second part. Can any of the Supreme Court justices be impeached? The, there's... Um, you can do both together. There's no chance of that. There's no chance it would be taken up by Lamar Smith on the Judiciary Committee. And um, some of the things that I might secretly want to do are best kept secret because um, we're trying to appeal to middle-of-the-road voters who, by definition, can't make the obvious decision that the Democrats are better than the Republicans. Uh, without a lot of help, and I don't think uh, trying to impeach Supreme Court justices would help them uh, see the, 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 the light side of the force. Okay. Um, this region will have an opportunity to apply for large-scale federal grants. 
Are there any specific grants which you are on the top of your list? Basically, I help all of the nonprofits and governmental entities uh, in our area who are applying for federal grants. Uh, on our, my web page, uh, we try to provide a list of what things people might consider applying for, particularly the nonprofits. And uh, I wish I could tell you that just because there are federal grants that help is on the way, uh, federal support for state and local government is um, is declining rather rapidly as the stimulus bill and what I call the education stimulus bill, those are the last bills we're likely to pass. The money is, you know, we saved the jobs of 900 plus teachers here in the San Fernando Valley. Okay, but in 2011 or 2012, that money's gone. Okay, I've been told to uh, limit us to two more questions. Okay. Uh, why is Washington not using the Social Security Medicare response to the health bill the way you are? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I try to convince my colleagues that uh, I am the fountainhead of all wisdom and <laughs> only sometimes do they see uh, just how true that is. <laughs> Okay, and lastly, uh, do you support the Egyptian uprising towards democracy? If so, what should the U.S. do or not do to further the drive? Uh, we'd all like to see democracy in Egypt. I, we have to support the effort and at the same time know that it is dangerous. Uh, there, are, the, there are revolutions where, that have created democracy but there are many that, where those who believe in democracy are in power for a few months. We saw that with the French Revolution, um, which began to overthrow an autocracy and ended up with terror and then autocracy. Um, okay, well-designed military campaign autocracy under Napoleon, but still autocracy. Then we saw the Russian Revolution in March of 1917, which we all would have supported, become the October 1917 Bolshevik Re Revolution. And then we saw in the late 70s in Iran. So we need to support democracy, but democracy, and, and, and particularly support that it then not be taken over by a um, well-organized anti-democratic force. Um, and we have to be relatively discreet in what we do and very humble in what we do. A discreet because I don't think the Egyptians want any Americans, not even Dipson, deciding their government. And second, uh, while we can say a few things and do a few things behind the scenes, uh, this image that America can control the world, both our enemies and our friends believe it, it's just not true. And so uh, most of the decision making in Egypt will be in Egypt, and uh, we should uh, push for an orderly transition to a genuine democracy uh, in Egypt and know that Whatever we do will uh, will be of, of, of modest importance. Thank you, Thank you.